and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at the uh, Compressed Blocks add-on. So, I thought this was an interesting one because it bas basically you can like compress block uh, items into like, you know, these compressed blocks. Which could be used for decoration and but their like main functional use is uh you know, to say could store more items in an it, you know. So like you could, if you, instead of like having like nine stacks of apples, you could have one stack of compressed apple blocks. Um, which, yeah, I, I do, and they all can be like decompressed, so you can craft them back into apples. I do think that this is a good idea for an uh, add because a lot of people uh, do complain about their inventory rows. Where, uh, where is compressed blocks? It's an add-on that has a ton of new. Uh, uh, how do you use it? You can find all the new blocks by uh, checking your in-game recipe browser. Try searching compressed to find them. How do I reverse the compression? Simply put the uh, compressed blocks up back back into the crafting grid to turn it back turn them into uh, the items used to craft them. Uh, yeah, so this is a very simple one. Doesn't even really need a I just bring com com set so make co compressed golden carrots comp well, yeah it's rest just double checking just in case. so you can make golden cat compressed golden carrots which I'll just make one real quick there's a golden carrot on the side and you can see it says like it's basically like a barrel full of golden carrots and I'll show off you just to uncraft it, you can just do that. Uh, you can make compressed mangrove planks. Uh, never brick, ender pill, which is which uh, compressed compressed ender pills are really good because uh, unless you've got storage drawers, uh, ender pills. I only stack up to 16, uh, which apparently I only have 16, so if I just like give at p and uh, pearl uh, 255, just a random number, they got a bunch of ender pills, and you know, it's a lot harder to store a uh, you know, ender pills because they only stack up to 16, but with this. Just craft them into blocks, which stack up to 64, and you can craft them back into uh, ender pills. So it's a far more efficient way of storing ender pills if you don't have the storage drawers, or don't want to use storage drawers. Uh, then there's like compressed dark oak, compressed stone, oh yes, that, this is really good. So. Uh, oh, do you, can you do compressed cobblestone? Let's just get a bunch of cobblestone. Can you compress cobblestone? You can't compress cobblestone. Why not? Like cobblestone. Oh, hold on. Can you compress dirt? Can you compress dirt? Okay, you can make compressed dirt. Like uh, dirt and cobblestone, I'd say. Uh, like the two that you would like definitely want to be able to compress. Like just look at all this to hit I have. Yeah. Like, look at all this to hit. Uh, so yeah, being able to compress this all up is definitely a good thing. Press it, press it. Well, I don't know why you can't compress cobblestone. Like cobblestone, like the first thing I would have added would be compressed dirt. The second thing I would have added would be compressed cobblestone. It is, it is nice to just have compressed dirt though. Um, so, but this does remind me, uh, a while ago, a long time ago, uh, in internet terms, but, uh, 
there was this uh, Java mod that added a thing called the Deep Dark. It's not the Deep Dark that we think of nowadays, but um, basically how you'd make that is like you'd craft like uh, compressed cobblestone, and it wasn't just like compressed cobblestone, it was like double compressed cobblestone and quadruple compressed cobblestone, I think it was. So you basically had to get a bunch of cobblestone and like compress it all up, and you'd also have to make one stable ingots, if I remember correctly. Which were a, a different thing. So yeah, look how much dirt I've just I've just managed to compress and like. So this is so this would this is really good for in tandem with like um the drawers because the draw you know the, they work with drawers obviously but yeah. Can you get compressed deep? You can get compressed deep slate, but not cobble deep slate, which is annoying because deep slate is a useless well. Cobble deep slate is uh, useful, and you can compress cocoa beans. I mean, I don't know. I've never heard of anybody having so many cocoa beans that they needed uh, nine times the amount of storage for them. Make compress compressed glass bottles. Okay. Make beef rabbit. So hold on, I'm gonna go into game mode one real quick. Game mode one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself some of these blocks because I don't have any uh, beef, rabbit, pork chops, mutton, chicken. Uh, let's grab the glass bottles so I can take a look at them. <laughs> okay, that's that's a bit funny. Compressed cherry. They got. Uh, let's grab some compressed planks and compressed logs. Compress sea lanterns, shroom light, and glowstone. Let's see if these have a if these have a light source. I uh, got uh, Let's uh, take a look at the chorus fruit and apples. And yeah, I'm gonna tap. Now I'm going to get back into survival, take a look at some of these. Uh, oh. So, yeah, this is the beef, so... Does it always... Okay, it's always facing the same direction. Which is annoying if you have a build and it's facing the wrong direction. Then you have a rabbit. It's a cute little rabbit, though. If you, yeah, but if you're building with these, I would recommend uh, making sure they're facing the right direction. And yeah, it's raw, not cooked, so you can't make a block of uh, cooked meat and just have like a bunch of cooked meat uh, around. Carry a cook, bunch of cooked meat around with you. You've got pig and sheep. Then you got chicken. Oh, this is cute. Got glass bottles. Yeah, they do look just like uh, glass bottles on like little shelves. And then you got what is this? Compressed cherry saplings. Yeah, I can kind of see it. Got compressed cherry planks. Well, that actually does look good. Like, if you want, um, basically a, like, different type of wood, it's basically just like a different type of planks. Or well, texture variant on planks. What about log? Uh, it's basically a non rotatable log, by the really. It's slightly different, and it's a different texture to vanilla. So you might prefer that. Um, hold on. Let me take my armor off so I can see darkness again. All these do actually... Yeah, so... Compressed sea lantern. 
uh, shroom light and glowstone. So sea lantern gives off light, shroom light gives off light, and glowstone gives off light. That, oh, and this is a much better texture for glowstone. I actually really like this texture for glowstone. Shroom light is uh, fine. Uh, well, I do like I do like on the uh, I do like these textures. So now you might actually want to use uh, just use uh, glowstone in your builds. Well, without having to change the base texture glowstone. So this is uh, chorus fruit. Apples. Well, I like the top texture. Yeah. Uh, I could definitely see like these these being used like in a uh, food store. And more plants. Let's take a look at the compressed bricks. Hmm. Oh, this is compressed neverack block. Okay, I didn't expect them to look like that. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, adds a bunch of cool blocks. Um, add on, Des, if you are watching this, um, I would definitely, like, you definitely really should add compressed cobble, cobblestone compre and compressed cobble deep slate. Because uh, those are the two blocks, in my opinion, along with, like, dirt uh, and, like, maybe gravel. Can you compress gravel? Yeah, you can. Uh, that are like, and maybe tough, like you can get a fair bit tough. You may compress tough, no you can, so that's not too bad. Um, that really need, that would, that, that you get a ton of, so, uh, it would be cool if you could add them. Uh, but yeah, I would de I would definitely, uh, I don't know if this is a must-have add-on for your world, but it is definitely a highly recommended add-on from me. Uh, just because it does, uh, even though it doesn't have all, like, the block compressed blocks I would like it to have, it's still going to help a lot with uh, your storage situation. Um, I don't really need these blocks anymore. I'm just going to dump them in here. And again, the uh, new the glowstone texture looks really cool. The compressed glowstone texture looks really cool. And again, compressed ender pearls that is just good for uh, if you're not using drawers. But I don't really see, and obviously, like the uh, compressed foods are good for like food stalls. I'm not really seeing anything else here that I would uh, re that I'm really crazy about. It's like saplings, uh, jungle, the logs, yeah, fine. Ink sack block. Okay, that looks kind of cool. Got compressed gunpowder, compressed leather, oak saplings. Hay bales, cherry logs, you got, uh, yeah, I don't really see anything here that I'm just like, oh yes, this is like super good to have. Uh, being able to compress it, like maybe the andesterite, compressed andesterite might be good. Uh, yeah, now you've also got compressed diorite, and I assume you got, yeah, granite over here. Yeah, that's kind of cool because... Uh, compressed feather? Well, actually, compressed feather is good for me because uh, I have a chicken, automatic chicken farm and I have a lot of feathers. So yeah, if you have a chicken farm, the compressed feather block is good. Ooh, I want to see, does this reduce fall damage? I really hope it does, but I'm willing to say that it doesn't. So uh, if I just place one there, take my arm off, go into game mode one. Yeah, 
Zero. Nope, it does not reduce fall damage. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, so, yeah, again, if you're watching this, I don't know, devs, uh, make it so that the feather blocks, uh, like, I at least reduce fall damage, or maybe just, like, entirely, um, just negate fall damage, because that would be cool, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, you can compress cooked food. Can you compress or Can you compress iron? Please tell me you can compress iron blocks. You can't. Oh, that's a shame. Because uh, here I have like a ton of iron blocks. Like I've got a second drawer here for iron blocks. How many iron blocks do I have in there? Oh, uh, yeah, I have like uh, over 3,000 iron blocks. So it would be really nice if I could compress all my iron blocks down. Uh, to make it more compact. So, uh, so that's not a must have, but I would really like that. But, uh, so, yeah, it's not as bad as that. Uh, compress sugar cane, that's pretty cool, because you can get a large sugar cane quite quickly. Uh, if you're using a bone meal powered the, uh, sugar cane farm. Uh... Anything? Yeah. Well, like maybe a compressed fr uh, flint block. I don't know. I don't think that would be super useful because flint's not to super easy to get in a large quantity. Ah, oh, those are rubber skulls. Um. And like, ooh, so you can. Maybe like a compressed neverite block, just as a like a flex. Um, so it just like be like a really like uh fancy block, and it's just like it. The entire point of it would just be just to like as like a vanity block uh, for decoration. That would be funny. Um, but yeah, I can definitely see them just like updating this in the future and adding more and more compressed blocks. Um. I think the most difficult thing about doing this is literally just like designing it, the texture for it. Um, and making sure like the textures look at least decent when placed down. But yeah, the texture, uh, the textures from what I've seen do look good, especially like, again, the glowstone. I like the glow, I like these three uh, textures. The, the uh, mutton, chicken, uh, rabbit, beef, and pork chop blocks could do with being able to be rotated. Um, yeah. Although, yeah. Oh no, I don't think I have anything else to say about this. It is a, yeah, it is useful. So yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And bye bye.